Boom. My recording. My rec it's it's live. Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Curly. I'm doing some more reactions to some scary videos today. I got Sir Spooks, one of the well, one of the better uh, reactionary channels to do. This guy's really spooky. He's good. Uh, yeah, honestly, I have nothing else to say. These are top five scary videos. I'll mess me up apparently. So yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Let's do it. I hit the microphone. Professional here. Jeez. Hello everyone, my Hello. name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos. God, I love this before voice. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Do that, I right, am. Let's begin. You guys should do that, do it. A TikToker named Danny Tumia is running oh. as fast as he can with his young son in this video. It's elf After season. hearing some truly bizarre noises coming from one of the sewers nearby during one of their nightly walks. At one point, Danny's pet dog walks right up to the sewer gate and begins to sniff around. Oh god, not a dog. sensing something down there that it's interested in. Please, not a dog. I think there's people in the sewer. So we start running, right? Naturally, we run straight into the creepiest house on the block. I mean, look at this thing. That's a spooky house. Yeah, he loves this stuff. I mean, look at this house. I mean, windows are broken out, graffiti all over it. There might be a hole underground that leads right to the sewer because, you know, Rowan's got his pinwheel and he loves it. Man, I'm telling you, there's something in there. I mean, Rowan can What's smell it. I mean, Daryl. Daryl can smell it. What is it, Daryl? Oh. What is that? And Rowan hears it. You know, look at him. <laughs> then my phone tweaks out of nowhere. And then this happened. Oh, my light went out. Whoa. What is that? That was a pair of hands. Oh, my light went out. That was a pair of hands. I can't see. What is it? Oh. What is that? Oh. Nope, I'm out. My God! Out of nowhere, Danny's phone flashlight goes off, and then suddenly, yeah, the flashlight is cut. Comes reaching up for them. A flashlight is cut. If you guys couldn't tell. Out of hands nowhere, Danny's phone flashlight goes and off, and cuts. then suddenly, yep. a pair of hands yep. comes reaching up for them. It's cool. It's scary. Don't get me wrong, but it cuts, man. Sorry, you lost points. No crown for you, no gold star. Don't go past go, don't collect $200. To this day, nobody involved with this video is sure what it was that they saw that day. But judging by the footage, it definitely wasn't anything normal. But what do you guys think? There's always a chance that this could be a hoax and that Danny and his son were acting. It could also be something unexplainable. Let me know what you think. Today's video is sponsored by oh, Dave. Oh, sponsored by a Dave? app that can help you instantly. No. Sorry, I don't do banking apps. That's a big no-no for me, buddy. Well, I mean, I do my online banking, sure, but I don't do other apps. Imagine I don't get those in, in Canada. Drive-through at night, simply trying to get some food and go home for the rest of the night. But what ends up happening? <laughs> McDonald's is not food. Continue on. I don't eat there. Situation. I hate McDonald's. That's exactly what happened to a woman on TikTok named Chrissy, who says that while in the drive-through. This disturbed Chrissy. person attempted to open up every single door on her vehicle. Oh my god. So this person just tried to get in my car a few times. Luckily, all oh the yeah, he's not. Locked. He's not all there. No, no, don't fucking do it. No. Yeah. Oh, she, she's really not all there. Locked. Shit like that just creeps me out. Fuck. That's why my door stays locked all the time. I hope she finds the help she needs, but that's creepy. I'd be scared in that situation, too. I got a lot of homeless people Thankfully, like that living in my town, too. All the doors ended up being locked. Thank it's goodness. It's tough to think about what could have possibly happened to Chrissy had even one of the doors been unlocked, waiting for this disturbed individual to simply enter the vehicle. Look at the way she turns around, too. She's like, Meh. Oh, yo, yo, tell me, tell me why that this shot right here doesn't remind you of the Skeksis from the Dark Crystal. <laughs> no, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that, but it's true. It does. It reminds me of that scene. It does. Blue time. This video from Peru showcases a woman filming something incredibly I love Peru. strange. I gotta go there one day. Right down the street from I really do. Immediately, it becomes clear that this isn't just something ordinary. You got like the the fucking grudge over there? What the fuck? What is that? Oh. 
Yep, that's weird. That's just the person doing like the upside down gymnastics there, buddy. Just somebody having like a freak out. The video goes on and the figure materializes itself a bit more, seeming to look like some sort of scary humanoid creature. Yep. To this day, it's not exactly clear what it was that this TikToker saw that day, but many theories are online. Many seem to think that this is simply a person, but that in itself is pretty strange. What do you think this is? I think it's just, just a person. Know your thoughts in the comments I don't think that person's below. okay, but I think it's a person. People can do that. A TikToker named Josh is exploring this haunted penitentiary. At oh, yo. I used to live across the street from abandoned prison in Owen Sound, Ontario. Absolutely the freakiest thing of my life. So much paranormal activity. It's, oh, it was so good. All was going well and nothing Josh saw was out of the ordinary. However, at one point in the video, Josh climbs up a closed off area and it's you then that things quickly start to go awry. He's walking down this stretch of cells when all of a sudden. I uh, may or may not have climbed up. I seen that, buddy. Because there's no stairs. Yeah, well, there's probably no stairs for a reason. Is there going to be a person in one of these? Oh, Whoa! Fuck. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Yo, that got me. Yo, that, that actually scared me. <laughs> oh my god. Cells, only to find what looks to be some sort of ghost. Look at that guy. He's just standing there. Like a freak. Josh walks by one of the cells only to find what looks to be some sort of ghostly figure. Look at him. This inside, ghostly figure standing there is all like causing Josh to scream as loud as he can, running away in fear in the process before the video ends. It's okay. I what do that do too, Josh. What that Josh saw that day? Was it a ghost or something else entirely? Be sure to leave your theory. Imagine if it's day. just a cardboard was cutout a that the guard, like the the people who own the prison, put up there to scare ghost people off from climbing up there. Be sure to leave oh, that'd be so. I would do that. I would. Below. I would do that. I'd be turning these prisons into an escape room, by the way. Just saying. On oh, enhanced light, too. Yeah, that's creepy. Chris I love Urbex Hill. Urbex Hill is making a video on exploring the back rooms once again, and it turns out to be a grave mistake, as it's one of the oh, scariest we've, places we've reacted to this already. Into. But it's scary as shit. And half minute mark, Chris begins to experience some truly strange things. Take a look and have a listen. Oh no, is this- I can't do the voices, man. Oh, is this part one? Nope, this- this is the weird voices. We've seen this one already. We've seen like in three compilations this year. But it's scary, dude. Ah, uh, here it is. Yep, just hit me. It's a weird noise in this room. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. No, I don't want any of it. That's creepy. Just fuck you, man. Listen again and see if you can hear any whispering voices. It's a weird noise in this room. No, I couldn't do it. Yeah, and that second one's like, hey, hey, come here. No. About eight minutes or so later, Chris then enters a room that he says is absolutely freezing for some reason, despite the rest of the place feeling quite normal temperature wise. As he continues onward with the investigation, even more terrifying things start to occur. Yep, we've seen this too. Oh god. Oh. And then he just sonic rooms out there. I'm just saying. Like he's out of there, dude. He's gone. Mm -mm. Now nah, like he's he's fucking out of there. I'm just saying. Like he's he's gone gone. Look how fast he's running. He's gone.
Yeah, the weird, yeah. For those of you watching this for like the first time, it's probably not that entertaining to see me call out all of it. But again, I've seen this like three times already this month. This has been in so many best of 2022 and it is. It's like my, it's my best clip for sure. I love this. It's like top one for me. It's freaky. Sorry, shouldn't be yawning, but it's true. Chris then proceeds to walk down a flight of stairs, but be sure to take a look at the IR camera right about here. Yeah. It captures something rather unsettling. Guess I'll go downstairs for a minute. Wait, I, wait, no, I don't know what it captures, but what? Wait, I've never seen them call attention to the IR. Oh, never mind. I see it. I see it. Yeah, there's somebody behind there for sure. There's something behind there fucking around for sure. It almost looks as if a ghost follows him downstairs. Yep. It like goes by. Yeah, there it is. Ghost like that motherfucker going back down the stairs. How dare it? How dare he? Stupid Urbex Hill. He's not stupid. He's a good guy. The creepiest part comes last when Chris is wandering around this dark and dreary section of the building when out of nowhere this happens. Oh, when he sits down? Yeah. Seriously, man, if this happened to me, I don't think I'd ever go back to being a paranormal investigator. Like, seriously. I might I, I would quit right there. Yeah, those gotta be raccoons. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Raccoons, you say? Oh, he's really building up to this. Good job, Sir Spooks. Damn! You see how far he went? I was waiting for it. I wasn't gonna spo ruin the the spoiler, but look at that. He goes out for 10 minutes. Like, he falls asleep. Like, he gets knocked out. Yeet! Chris is violently God pushed damn. And is ultimately knocked out for 10 Unbelievable. minutes in the process. He then wakes up and leaves immediately afterward. What was it that he saw that day in the back rooms? What pushed him so violently? He got pushed? To this See, other people have said he's got pulled. Knows. So that, that's and more that interesting that Sir Spooks has pushed. I, hope you I gotta go watch the original. If you did, then subscribe for more scary content. Man, I'm already sub. You guys Spooks, know it. You Honestly, you guys, I told you, this guy's great. He's perfect. He's amazing. You, just got, you gotta go watch him. Seriously, Sir Spooks is great. I've done a lot of paranormal investigations in my life. I've done a lot of house blessings. He's honestly one of the better ones. He captures, well, he uses the clips from pretty much the best ones that he can find, like the creepiest ones are not always real as you saw, but he just, he, he goes out of his way. Like he digs for him, honestly. So yeah, no, that's it. Go subscribe to him. Uh, let me know if I can change anything in the, you know, in the comments down below. I am getting a new camera. There's no more funny camera. Okay, guys, seriously, this, this camera sucks. I know mine broke in the move. Sorry. There's nothing I could do about it, but good luck. Have fun. I wish you all the best of luck. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Goodbye, I guess.